After 22 years of war and 2 million dead, South Sudan is gaining independence from the north. On July 9th, representatives from the Catholic Church and the new government will meet in Juba, the capital of South Sudan, to celebrate this historic moment. It's a chance to look to the future with a new confidence, but also an awareness of the significant challenges they face. The Bishop of Rumbek in the center of South Sudan explained that the main shortcomings of the new country are the lack of a ruling class, the transparency in government, as well as the reconciliation and integration of the different tribes. We need engineers, we need doctors, we need people prepared at every political level, people who can join the rest of the world with an honest administration, without corruption, an administration that can make a respectable name in society. Aware of these shortcomings, the country's bishops proposed 101 days before the referendum, 101 days of prayer in Sudan and around the world for the future of the country. The Catholic Church is helping the situation through the University of Sacred Heart in Milan, which has launched a program to train the future leaders of the country. The Italian Episcopal Conference is also helping by financing the construction of schools. They hope to rebuild the country and the lives of nearly 9 million people in the world's youngest country.